before we get this video rolling, Brentworks giveaway number eight. We should have a winner for the first in here in the next upcoming YouTube video. You guys will see the phone call and the winner announcement for that. So stay tuned for that. But the reminder I want to get in your ear and have you guys mark down is November 11th. That's only nine, 10 days away. That is the launch of the last and final giveaway for Wrenchworks for the year. And I'm telling you, it is the biggest, it is the baddest, it is the most insane giveaway. It's gonna be one heck of a Christmas for one person because we will have a winner for the last giveaway right before Christmas. And I'm telling you, you are not gonna to wanna to miss out. So November 11th, only nine, 10 days away. Mark it down, let's get this video going. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. So if you guys are paying attention in the last video, we mentioned that we're going to the track uh, in the next video, which is actually tomorrow. So we're starting out the video the day before. We got a little loading to do. Michael is still getting the rail dialed in. We've got some transmission tweaks that he was doing last night. So we're still trying to work through some of those bugs in order to get to the track. So that's kind of where the day is starting. Uh, we've got this, I don't know, I don't know if we've talked about this trailer on top of a trailer in a YouTube video or not, but we need to somehow get this trailer off of this trailer in, in one piece. So that is one of the goals also for today. We're gonna be hauling the 05 to the track with the new Diamond C. So we got, like I said, we got loading, we got things to do to get ready for the track, but that's the ultimate goal. And then we are going to the track first thing tomorrow, hopefully having an epic, epic day with the rail, which is gonna be on the track for the first time in forever, forever. So we got the quad cab, the 05, and the rail going to the track tomorrow. But. Here's where the day is starting, boys. Shane, say hello to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Michael, I think I know what the problem is. <laughs> He's regen. <laughs> <You're like, laughs> that was good. That was good. I don't think mine's gonna top that one. Uh, you're not. You're not even wearing your Tune Five. Your new Tune Five shirt or sweatshirt. You know, it's not even on Tune Five, dude. That's probably their problem.
Alrighty, boys. Woo! I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew right now. my friends Saturday morning we are at the track uh, we're up late last night getting Michael's dragster ready to go working through some transmission things with it uh, but super pumped uh, I'm honestly a little bit more excited not gonna lie about Michael's journey today than than our journey but uh, should be an amazing day super pumped super excited everything seems to be in order for a great day of racing weather is perfect boost season uh, but yeah talking with my hands a lot Saturday morning we're at the track that's all there is to it. Here to have some fun and go fast, boys. What what else, Cody? What would I forget? What I forget? I said if Greg's not quad cab daddy by the end of the day, then we got problems. Quad cab no, daddy. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Ready for your first rip? No. <laughs> Here we go. Let's make it happen. Alright guys, 
So uh, first pass done, first pass jitters uh, in the books. We changed a lot in uh, what was not seen between the last time we raced and this time was Michael has spent a bunch of time uh, redoing a lot of nitrous going a little bit bigger. So we're kind of starting back down uh, to where we were and gonna progress. We don't wanna go too big too fast with the nitrous stuff. Um, again, a lot of like that Hammer Tech Mega Jet stuff um, is much bigger orifice size. Uh, so that's kind of why we slowed down on that pass. That was only a 6.0 pass. So uh, just more time tuning uh, the nitrous stuff back in, but still creeping up on it. You go too much too fast, you end up with big problems. So uh, that's really the recap on the first pass. Um, Michael's over here, super pumped for Michael. Uh, I'm gonna miss his first pass, but uh, Michael's first pass coming up too. Um, again, brand new everything on Michael's car, so uh, really just trying to creep up on getting that thing to be happy, go down the track, make sure everything's working together well, so. Hell yeah. Pump. It's crowded. It's crowded. We need to rent the track. Crowded. Yeah. We need to rent the track to get more passes, because this is, uh, what is it, two o'clock? Only got a couple more hours. We only made two passes, so we're doing what we can. Is that 53? <laughs> 553, hey, boy! Shake Yay! Up. Good job! Hey, let's get See? Cool You're my luck right? charm. Certified street quad cap daddy. Sorry, I let you hang it twice today. <laughs> street now that, weight. That, hey, I'm still top three at least. <laughs> You're still number one in my heart, baby. First hit on the rail. What happened? How you feeling? How's that head? Good. Tire shook real hard. Pulled the battery cable out of the end. Off the, uh, off the uh, emergency, uh, whatever it is. And then uh, we're getting that fixed up. And then hopefully, Make it so it doesn't shake. Put some tear, put some air in the tire. Leave a little harder. Let's see what happens. Burnout wasn't bad. That's what everybody said. Yep. Yeah, my denture glue back in. Your denture glue. 
extra glue might have knocked out on that one. <laughs> Jared's been, this year, Jared's been wearing a mouthpiece. Really? Yeah. He, Dang. I, I talked to him at Shida a good bit. He's like, he's like, yeah, he said, this is the first year I've worn a mouthpiece full time. It's funny that you say that because somebody else that I just saw that was getting in a dragster, they were, they were like, they did this to somebody and they brought over a mouthpiece. I was like, wow. Yeah. I don't make you think about life. Yeah, like, huh. yeah. <laughs> I should probably get one of those. Man, I thought that was it. Did, 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 five, six, oh, at 139 something. It went 139 miles. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was like, <laughs> dude, I was screaming. I was like, yo, I, that is I it. I knew some part of it was better because I'm like, oh, my God. Awesome. It, it, oh, it, it felt, it felt twice as fast. That's impressive. That 550, 555 pass or whatever, like I could have one fingered it. This one, I was like, oh, we're, we're moving. We're freight training right now. What, uh, what was I this, 60? One. 57 or something okay. like it's bad very bad 57 <laughs> It was a 551. 551, Ooh. not a 51. That's still real good. Yeah. We heard 51 on the line. Yeah, I stayed in that circle. I was like, I ain't letting out. I ain't gonna do it. Wait, backed up. Backed up. Two 555 passes. One was at 135 mile an hour. That last one was at 140. Woo. Yeah. Move. Yeah, it's moving. It's moving. 60 foot is where we still are, are working. So. Heck yeah. I'm not shaking too bad. I'm not shaking so too bad. You know what I mean? From there, like, I feel like we went the right way. Getting her dialed. Getting her dialed. Still got, still got some work to do. Right Michael, shaky, shaky, shaking, shake and bake. Yep. Whole lot, shake, lot of shake, not a lot of bake. Whole lot of shake. <laughs> <laughs> not a lot of bake.
had to be it, boys. Thank you. Am I able to scale real quick? Am yeah. I able to scale real quick? 538. There's no way. There's no way. I got chills. There's no way. <laughs> 538. Wow. Got that ninja sauce in there. Got that ninja yeah. sauce. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What was that number? Let's go. What was that number? 538. Yeah. What? 538. Yeah. Let's go. And mile per hour, actually. 146. Okay. 141. Oh, is that Michael geez. up there? Yeah. He's not running. He's not running. Okay. 538. 538. And I took a picture because I rescaled it. 538, 141. Knuckles, thank you, baby. Love you. Oh, thank you. Boom. Heck yeah. Wham. Wham. <laughs> 538. Hey, you know what it was? Lee, this thing you know is what it was? Smoking. You got your good luck smooth right see, before you this went. This is my good luck charm right here. It's my good luck charm. Except I usually don't watch. Maybe if that's the key. Maybe that's the key. I'm got usually, that magic lips. I'm used to Woo! Got that Conor McGregor walk now. <laughs> A to B. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're here. It's running. Yeah. Records are being broken. Hey. <laughs> Told you to go I don't give I don't give a shit about me. <laughs> I give a shit about you. Got kind a of fuel line broken. We're just trying to get down the track. But hey. Still a win. Yeah. Still a win in my book. The, the domination is inevitable. <laughs> We're just on the journey there. They can't give it to us that quick, you know? What would the struggle and the grind be if we didn't have to work for it a little bit? I felt like I should be on a chisel on a stone or something. Yeah. <laughs> Runch works on top. 538. It's fine. 140, almost 142. Really? Yeah, 141. Still a 146.60 foot. Yeah, that's what I heard. Need to, need to get it, get that done quicker, but. Alrighty, my friends, that is pretty much gonna wrap up this epic video at the track. Obviously, still a little bit of work to do on Michael's rail, getting some tire shake out of the car, but the 05 just absolutely got it done. So 538 at almost 142, the mile an hour is absolutely insane. Uh, Reway the, the truck, it's again, it's right over 6,000 pounds. Uh, that is a lot of power to move that much weight that fast. To my knowledge, to my knowledge, uh, uh, this is the fastest truck in street trim. Now when I say street trim, I mean like street truck, able to do street truck things, no real weight reduction in the body, no cut up panels, full bed, basically full weight street truck. This is the, that's the fastest pass. 
that anyone has done. And we are going to go faster than that, I can guarantee you. So uh, again, a lot of talk about the 60 foot. The 60 foot is an important part of the track. Uh, we're gonna swap converters. You can see it's on the lift. Uh, no issues, no real issues, but we're gonna pull the trans. We're gonna take it apart just to check it and make sure everything is good before we go to the track again. Because we're going to the track again, we're gonna get this thing faster, but our converter is just a little bit too loose. Once we tighten that up, we'll be able to load the truck a little harder on the line. Um, and we'll have to relearn stuff as it's kind of getting more aggressive on the line with a different converter stall. But that is our plan. So stay tuned for the next track pass. But again, on cloud nine, huge thank you to everybody involved with the truck. The engine is just taking a beating, making some horsepower. Michael has got this thing absolutely dialed in. So super pumped. Appreciate you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.